Hello everybody, D7 here with Grok a Trade, Wednesday hump day, September 20th, 2017, and the markets in the day, mostly in bullish territory after the Feds come out saying that they're going to stay pat on the interest rates, but they are going to start unwinding their asset portfolio. $4.5 trillion starting in October. They're going to start, yeah, uh, the first time that's happened in nine years. Interesting. Be interesting to see how the markets die. Just that. Anyway, if you look here, everybody in bullish territory, but the NASDAQ, NASDAQ was down 0.3%. Banks higher, financials higher, crude oil up by 1.3%, gold down by 0.8%, silver down by a full 1%. VIX fear decreasing by 4%. Okay, 4%. Take a look here at the S&P 500. So here's what happened today. A lot of volatility, especially after the Fed announcement. Here we are looking at the spider. At the spider. And we still have a little bit of ways to go higher before we hit resistance, but we're at a resistance area. But what's nice is the price action is staying above all major moving averages. If you zoom out just a bit, you'll notice that these two lines right here, this one coming up higher and this one coming up higher, these two lines converge together. That's a bearish divergence, or that's a rising wedge, which is a bearish formation. And we're at the resistance part of that. So it wouldn't be surprising to see the markets drop and fall back down to these lower levels. The NASDAQ, or I'm sorry, let's go to the weekly chart. This is the weekly chart. I know it's the middle of the week, but you'll notice how we're staying. If you watch the weekend edition, we are staying staying below a major area of resistance on the weekly chart weekly chart if i go and spiders and the dow dow and the s p 500 hit an all-time record high uh, today but i want to take a look here at the nasdaq nasdaq went all the way down 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 this trend line found buyers up 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 this could be set set up to go higher, but look at the rising wedge. We are, we got rising wedges across the board, guys. We are uh, uh, unless the markets rally past all these resistance lines on the major indexes, major indices, the markets will drop, and it'll be a nasty little drop. The only way to heal that is to get a, a sizable break above these areas of resistance. If you look here at the weekly chart on the NASDAQ, remember, and, and the, this is still a fluid moving, it is a dynamic candlestick right here, it's still moving, it's only Wednesday, but this is a nasty rising wedge. If you look at, on the weekly chart, look at these two lines, okay, split those two lines in half, look at how there's more candlesticks on the lower half where there's more candlesticks gravitating towards the support line that's x percent more bearish than it is bullish and this has a real good chance of dropping guys on the weekly chart small caps can kind of lead the charge i want to show you something on the russells the russells we had this just insane run up bull pull back up 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 it went up and touched our line that we have here that line was been on here forever one four four point zero five went up touch that and come right back down this is a resistance area the last time we we're at this area look what happened big big drop question is will that happen again will history repeat itself it certainly could let's take a look at the weekly chart just to see again this is only this is only Wednesday. We got two more days here, the markets, but this is a beautiful rising wedge. Okay. Let me show you a couple things here. Let's just look at this blue line. This blue line, you can see the dates down here. This blue line is March 2014. Okay. March 2014. It hit this line, dropped. Okay. Hit this line and dropped. Come up here. We touched the line there, dropped. Here, smash the line, major drop. Keep your eye on the blue line. 
here. Hit the line, dropped. Hit the line, dropped. Hit the line, dropped. Hit the line, hangs up here sideways. Hit the line, still hanging out. Drop. We pop up. We hit the line. What do you expect to happen? That's where we're at right now on a weekly chart. Pretty educational. That type of stuff that I just did with you, we do for hours and hours and hours on all different type of scenarios, adding a lot of different metrics in our, in our mentorship. Yeah, so quick look. We're getting a lot of new people because of Bitcoin. Let's go there and take a look at Bitcoin. And I, on the daily chart on Bitcoin, got a buy on it, boom, and I'm gonna stay with my buy. GBTC, got a buy on it, high base. This could be looking to go more bullish. And, oh, before I get into a couple of tech stocks, uh, this here, grocktrade.com, day trade. Uh, we're, I'm gonna be doing some more videos, or, um, webinars, webinars tomorrow. Tomorrow is Thursday, all day long. And we got, I think, three. We're doing three tomorrow, Keisha? Yes, we're doing three. Okay. So if you are, you got to have $25,000 to day trade in your account, and you need to be ready to day trade. And if that's you, don't don't go and take the webinars and learn how to you know do this day trading stuff if you're not ready for it because it's not for the faint of heart, not for the faint of heart. Okay, um, quick look here at tech stocks. And Apple dropped one point seven percent, one point seven percent down, 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 and down. I called it a sell several days ago, and it continues to be that. Um, Baba down more than one percent, and oh boy, I'm gonna call it a sell. Baba is now a sell, even before Christmas. That might turn around to bite me, but we'll see. Anything else? Google is up one percent today. I got a buy on it already, so I'm gonna stay with my buy. And GoPro two point eight percent down, down, down. So that one, I'm going to, nope, I'm going to stay. I'm not going to call it a sell. Not going to do it. NVIDIA, down almost a full percent, but that's a buy, and I'm going to stay with my buy on that one. PayPal, 1.4%, but nearing resistance. Whoops, get rid of that. Nearing resistance. Have a buy on that one back here, and it's gone up quite a bit. Snap down 3.8%. Boom. There's my cell. Don't want any part of that now. That is gone. Twitter down. I'm going to stay with my buy on Twitter. There you have it. If you like it, like it. And go ahead and check us out here if you'd like. Catch up with you guys later. Okay. Quick little blog here. For you guys that are still sticking around, I am going to be in Boston next week. Looking forward to that. Boston, Boston. I'll be there at HubSpot. It's a marketing type thing on inbound marketing. and It's a good time just to sit, think. If you guys haven't been to conferences before, it's a great. They are great to get the creative juices going. And yeah, we've been making some changes at Grok Trade. Um, increasing the services that we provide, increasing the our ability to be able to provide services. And yeah, so I'll be in Boston. For all you listeners in Boston, that's where I'll be. And uh, yeah, the yeah, those webinars that we've been doing, Keisha, those chat webinars, they've been awesome. I mean, we did over the weekend, Saturday. We actually had a, a lot of you really good Put feedback. your face in this. <laughs> You're right here. <laughs> I'm right here. Hello. So. But we did. We had a lot of great feedback. People are loving your webinars. You're doing a great job, Des. Keep it up. I'm glad you're starting to do that more and more now because I think people out there are really hungry to learn. 
Yeah, I we have another one um, that we're going to do that we put together a Stock Picks V newsletter, and we have that one that uh, we'll be releasing fairly soon. So you, yeah, keep your eyes open for that. Hope you guys are well. Man, all the earthquakes. One today hit in Japan, a 6.1. Um, you know, Mexico City. I, man, guys, we're getting ready to release a big, some big announcements uh, for the Latino community as far as our education is concerned. And it is, man, you know, over 200 people dead there in Mexico City. Just a few years ago, we did a couple mentorships, and they were our biggest classes we've ever had there in Polanco, north side of Mexico City. And it's just, you know, several buildings leveled. Uh, and, you know, with the hurricanes coming in, it's like judgment hitting, hitting the world. It's crazy, everything taking place. So anyway, I'm going to call it, today's my racquetball night. I'm going to go play some racquetball. So you guys take care. Um, like it, like it, share it with a friend if you'd like. Catch up with you later.